Arsenal versus Dynasty. And that's a nice little breakout. Dynasty with a little close kind of fisted type breakout. Looks like Fergoza might have been as, just went as far as the middle can. Looks like Little Wayne might have been in, uh, oh, Fergoza drops down. Back to the Arsenal breakout. Looks like they might have taken a little bit more. They definitely went to the outside Dorito. Dynasty secondary and in their bunkers. Dynasty playing super, super smart paintball. Uh, this field, like we talked about earlier, is similar to a lockdown field. Dynasty knows the angles. They know their lanes here. They're just going to fill it full of paint. Arsenal, on the other hand, is a very aggressive team. They're definitely going to keep pouring bodies forward. If they can't win a gun battle from the bunk of the right, they're going to try to make a gun battle from the one they go to. You can see Fraji might have took one on the attack there, and he did, and he's eliminated. That's two bodies down, and you can see right now the Arsenal train's going to roll on and coming forward. Now you can't, definitely cannot take anything away from Dynasty, but right here, as I said earlier, Arsenal all moving forward. You can see three bodies right there crossing into the 40 and 50 yard zones. And right there, it looks like J.C. Whittington, that's a little rolly in the mid. I mean, uh, Arsenal definitely pushing the bodies forward. Uh, for Dynasty, we still have Ryan Greenspan on the field, Frank the Tank, Yosh. I mean, not anything away from the other Dynasty guys, but you do not want these three cats on the field as the last two bodies because it's going to be hard as hell to shoot them all out. And J.C. Whittington there rocking the Sean Henderson jersey, shooting the Mexican flag. I love that ripper he uses. Arsenal have some really good players as well. Paul Caddick, I mean, Steven Pitts, they're, they're incredible paintball players. J.C. Whittington, again, a great paintball player, but we're talking about the boys in blue now. See, the Dynasty player in a little block on their 40 block is going to get so little and so small right now because we have three bodies going across the center of the field from Arsenal. And there's Paul Caddick now coming into the picture. He's going to battle a cross field at the small block. And the small block player comes out puts a nice little snapshot on him. He's looking at him like, I can't believe that shit just happened. But it did, dude. I can promise you. The boys in blue are nobody to be messing with. Arsenal are coming at him like they're nothing. And we're going to see who comes out at the end. Arsenal, J.C. Wellington going back and forth in the center of the field trying to get something to happen on the back. I don't know whether he's battling with Greenspan or Frank the Tank back in there, but the, you can see now he's switching back and forth again, looking for something to happen. Uh, JC's going to definitely try to make something. There's Greenspan in the back. I think Ryan's probably going to cinch up onto the left-hand side of the field. Oh, almost caught a little bouncer. Looking on the other side of the field, he better get a lot tighter. They still got Wayne Davison, uh, the snake side of the field, or the small Dorito side of the field. So. We'll see what he can do from over there. You can see right now in the back corner, I'm almost sure that's probably Frank or Yost are getting tons of heat on the back left. It's like JC's talking it up, trying to get something to happen. JC's probably going to try to uh, come forward, I would imagine. That's Wayne Davis on the other side of the field for Arsenal. You see the front row player, the front liner for Dynasty in a bad position in a small bunker, having to get super tight. Only battling across the field, nothing else optional for him. This field kind of gets to a lull where there's definitely going to be some dinking out, some long ball, and that's it. One of the Dynasty players just lost a long ball battle, and he's walking off the field right now. So that's another body down for Dynasty. Dynasty player talking that to his back line. He knows he's the front liner for this team. Looks like JC's going to scurry on over now. See if he can't get some paint on somebody in the back corner. Greenspan is back in the center or the center left. And here's the Arsenal player making his way up to the rolly. You better watch what happens out there on the outside because you cannot mess with Mr. Greenspan and you just got done showing me that. JC going to the outside there. It's a back and forth, back and forth thing. If uh, if JC can, he's going to come forward. Right? He shot the Dynasty player in the foot. The Dynasty player definitely out. JC coming around on him after he was already eliminated. Almost pretty much sacrificed himself. Kind of a shitty move for Mr. Whittington to do, but I think he thought maybe if he got him out that that would be one of the big holes they could knock in the Dynasty defense. You can see now Wayne's going to pay from the outside. Brian Greenspan, Yoshra, those guys are definitely, definitely going to be closers. And Mr. Greenspan shows you why he's one of the best players in paintball right now, folks. Congratulations to the boys in the blue.
And you can see right there, Dynasty, like again said, did like a little closed type fist in the middle of the field. Here's Arsenal, a totally different lookout. They went ahead and took outside both corners, had sweet spotters at the small can, took the Dorito and one player at the car wash. 